हेलो व्यूअर्स टुडे आई हैव गॉट टोटा कैमरी हाइब्रिड 2013 आई स्कैंड द कार एंड आई गॉट हाइब्रिड वोल्टेज सिस्टम आइसोलेशन फॉल्ट सो आई आस्क्ड द ड्राइवर व्हेन ही गॉट दिस कोड ही सेड इट वाज अ हैवी रेन एंड ही वाज ड्राइविंग एंड वेंट थ्रू अ पडल आफ्टर अ फ्यू मिनट्स ही गॉट check hybrid system on and when i scanned the car i got p 0 a 6 so this is not giving me any sub codes it's not identifying which area it is but i am going to start with the compressor first to see if there is any problems with the compressor so i'm going to show you how to check the isolation fault code in a ac compressor and ac compressor wiring what i did is i took this cover off and high voltage interlock switch removed and the battery is connected i didn't remove the battery connection so if i follow the compressor wire this is a compressor wire that's coming here so i'm going to take this off so i'm going to take this bolt off that's a big long bolt this small 10 mil bolt take king the cover off and now i'm going to remove the ac wire so that's been removed now i am going to show you how to check the resistance on this one to see if you have a problem in the air conditioning or this side of the car Uh, to check the isolation code you need a mega ohm meter so this is insulation tester i'm going to put this on 500 volts and i'm going to connect the ground somewhere here and test and lock now you're going to see the minimum Ohm. So this is giving me 0.023. So this side is okay. So I'm going to check on the other side. Now I am going to connect it on this side and see what's going on here. This side is showing me this has a lot of resistance. The limit for the compressor is three. It should not be more than three ohms. So it's going up. still going up so so we got a problem in the ac compressor okay i'm going to check the the compressor and the wiring that came from the wrecker i'm going to take this clip off first and i want to check if there is any of the moisture or any water contamination here and anything anything wrong here before i put in so this is easy way to check so i check this one this is all good and this mega ohm meter is on and it's on 500 volts do not touch both these things both probes together because this is generating 521 volts dc so it's going to give you a good jerk so be careful so i'm going to check the compressor and wire and going to put the ground on this one and i'm going to put the positive on the wire first wire see there is no resistance in this one so on this one same thing no resistance i removed it and i'm going to put it back zero no resistance so as you can see this compressor and this wire is good so i'm going to change the compressor if you can see my finger this is the compressor that i'm going to remove now so i have to take the radiator fan out to take the radiator fan out i have to take this off so i'm going to take the expansion expansion bottle out first So I'm going to take these two bolts. 
Then I'm gonna take this bracket that's holding the inverter converter. These are 10 mil bolts. And now I'm going to take these two bolts on this side. Now I have to take one, two and three bolts that's holding the lock and this radiator support. So you need a 10 mil spanner. So this is gonna come up and you have a plug here for the horn. So I'm going to take the horn plug out. This one. You have to press this clip inside, as you can see, and pull it up. And now I have to take the plug out for the fans, thermo fan. Take these clips out. They are coming out easily because somebody has taken off already so these clips are weak now so I just pressed this one if you can see I pressed this one and the plug pulled out I have to take this hose off and there are two bolts one bolt here and one bolt here if you can see one bolt is here and the second bolt is here these are 10 mil bolts. I'm going to take those out. Take this pipe off. The pipe is off. So this pipe is free now from the fan. I'm going to take this hose out. The clamp is locked. So everything is off. Now I have to take this uh, clips off. So these clips for the wires are off. Now I'm going to take, press this one, press this and press this. So fan is off now. I'm going to lift that radiator a little bit up and move it back so I can easily take the fans out. To take the fans out, be careful. There is very less room here and very careful about the neck of the radiator. So get help from someone and ask them to hold this radiator and pull it back a little bit. Remove the hose from the fan. This is the another hose that is attached here. I'll show you when I'll take it off. If you can see the bottom hose was here. So I just removed it from this clamp and it came off. Now you can easily see the compressor that's the power plug and that's the plug coming from the inverter and this has three 12 mil one bolt and two nuts underneath and two hoses one and one so i already recovered the gas so i'm going to take off the hoses first put them on side and then i'm going to take the compressor off i'm going to take this uh, hose off loosened it already and I'm going to take the other bolt from the hose it's off and I'm going to pull the hose and make sure before putting in that you have a seal here as you can see this one that's not been dead that that should not be damaged and same as on the other side i'm going to take this off as well as you can see this seal so 
now I am going to take these two plugs off. Because of the congested place, I'm going to use the long nose. So I'm going to pull the lock and pull it up. So this plug is off. I'm going to take the lock off first. The lock is off. And now I'm going to take the plug out. So the plug is out. So I'm going to take this bolt and two nuts off first. And then I'm going to take these two studs off to remove the compressor easily. You can use uh, E8 Torx to take the studs off. I'm going to take the nuts off first. Now the compressor is on both studs. So I have no room to slide the I have no room to slide the compressor back and take it off. So I need to take these both studs out. That's the stud that I used E8 here. E8. So I'm going to take the other stud out now. So the next stud is out. So I'm going to Take the compressor out. So that's the damaged compressor. As you can see that the water was going into the compressor and that's why the resistance when we were checking on the wire, the resistance was coming high. So that's the issue here. The water went into the compressor. You can compare both these things. So you will have idea that the water was going in here and the water is still inside the compressor causing the high resistance. So water is not a good conductor, definitely it will create a lot of resistance that's why that the resistance over here was good and here was high so if in this condition you must change the wire as well so i'm going to put this compressor in now so i'm going to take this clip off from here one clip is here and take this bolt off it's gonna come with the clip and you can easily remove it outside and one clip is back here on this side you can see this one and that's the new one from the wreckers so i'm not going to take the risk because if water is there i cannot clean this one i don't have time to open it up and clean it and put it back so i'm going to use this one this looks more cleaner than this one and if any of the carbon or corrosion due to water is still there it's gonna give you the same code so i'm going to use the new one not new one used one but it's in better condition i'm going to put this one in first first of all i'm going to put the top one in to hold the compressor and then i'm going to put the studs in then the nuts I'm going to put the hoses first so nothing can go in i'm going to put the silicon on a little bit of silicon spray on the seals so they can go easily this one as well so that's the clip that was in there so you just have to get out and on this ones these ones this looks broken and yeah a lot of clips are missing so i'm going to use from the other horse other wire and now i'm going to put the wire back onto the inverter converter I have to put this one first, the long bolt one that is going to keep the wire tight and that's the bolt to hold the clip underneath it. I'm 
Okay, this is done. So I'm going to put the fan in, everything back in, and then start to uh, remove the cords and start the car and see if there is any cord. And then later I am going to uh, charge the air conditioning gas. That's it. Thank you very much.